In this video, we will be discussing things you need to know for taking your online exam through at SQA. We will discuss the rules for online exams and how to schedule your exam through WebAssessor. Online exams require that you install programs before taking the exam. If you are using a work computer, you will need administrative access. You will see links on the AtSQA facts page with more information for the Respondus program that is needed to be installed. This program should be installed at least 72 hours in advance of your exam in case there are any installation issues. For any technical issues for either the installation or technical issues on the day of your exam, you will need to contact WebAssessor support through their live chat. The link is available on the facts page and also the email you received for your scheduled exam. Let's go over a few rules for your exam. Before your exam, make sure to select a good area to take the exam in. This area should be well lit and your exam desk should not have any other electronics, paper, writing utensils, or books. There should not be anyone else in your testing environment once you log in to take your exam. When taking the exam, there is a notes area and also a calculator on the exam screen. The proctor will start by asking for your ID and will also ask you to show your entire exam area. This also includes your entire room. Before your exam, make sure your name matches the ID that you are using. Here are some examples of proper and improper displays of your name. If you have an external camera, please make sure to position it so the proctor can see your face. Additionally, proctors do not allow talking to yourself out loud. They also do not like the exam taker to look away from the computer screen. If they see or hear you doing this too much, they will warn you, and after the warning, they will suspend your exam. If you are suspended from an exam for violation of exam rules, this can result in an automatic failure, and you will need to purchase another exam in full. Let's discuss scheduling your online exam. When scheduling your exam, make sure that you are available for the time you register for it. All exams require a pre-exam check-in. This can take 10 to 20 minutes in addition to your exam time. If there are any technical issues, it can take longer to address. Once you start an exam, you cannot leave or return later to finish it. On the at SQA facts page, you will see an area that talks about technical issues on the day of your exam and how to address those issues. To start the scheduling process, you will have needed to have purchased an exam voucher code. This code is used as payment when reserving your day and time. You will find the voucher code on your at SQA account page. First, you will log into your AtSQA account and you will see a link to access your exam online. Once you have logged into WebAssessor, you will choose the option to schedule your exam. Online exams always have online in the title. If English is not your native language, you can choose the option with EXT in the title for extended time. If you are in a country that has multiple time zones, you will have a drop down on the calendar page to select your proper time zone. The scheduling system has your country of origin on file and the time you select is for your country's local time. For example, if you live in Berlin, Germany and you schedule an exam for 3 p.m., your exam will be at 3 p.m. Berlin time. If you are in New York, you will select the East Coast time zone and your exam will be at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Certain times of the year, the online scheduling area is very busy and you may need to choose a few different days and times. It is better that you purchase your exam voucher code and schedule your exam in advance. 
You can always reschedule your exam without a rescheduling fee as long as you do so more than 24 hours before the exam. If you need to reschedule your exam, you can do so without the voucher code. You will just need to log into your AdSQ account and select the online exam access link. This will take you into Web Assessor and you will choose My Exams from the menu. If you cancel your exam, you do not automatically get a refund. Your exam code can be used to schedule the exam again as long as the code has not expired. On your exam day, log into your AdSQA account at least 10 to 15 minutes before your exam. You will then use the online exam access link. This will take you into Web Assessor. Once you're in Web Assessor, you will go to the menu item called My Exams. You will see a link to launch your exam. If the Respondus software is out of date or if you have not installed it, you will be prompted to install it. It is best to check before your exam day to make sure that it is up to date. If you are installing software at the time that your exam is supposed to begin, you will not be able to start your exam and it will be marked as a missed exam. You will then need to pay a rescheduling fee in order to take the exam. When launching the exam, you must have pop-ups active in your browser. The Respondus program will also want you to close programs running in the background. If you have any technical difficulties on your exam day, please make sure to always contact Web Assessor support through their live chat area on their website. If you do not contact Web Assessor support immediately on your exam day, they will require you to pay a rescheduling fee. After contacting them, please also feel free to contact at SQA. At SQA is available to answer your questions Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. At SQA wishes you the best of luck on your next exam.